Hi, welcome to another Archicad speed modeling tutorial. Today I show you how to create a bent ceiling grid in an office. Alright, let's get started. I'll show you what we got for now. Alright, I have a simple model, office, and I like to ask a nice ceiling or here as I've shown you before. First step is we're going up to the next level. I take my shell tool and we put in 3300 as a height from 0 100 mil thick. It's a concrete panel for now as a material and we put it on the ceiling layer. I like to have eight divisions in between here. You see down here already, I went from half to divisions. I put eight in. So if I go here, you got eight pieces. All right, so I like to start that from here to there. All right, let's see what we got. So that's my first piece. So what I do is next, I get rid of this arc. There we go, and I start moving the corners up this way. Other side, and move it up. And to make it a bit more nice, I like to put a curve in here. And do the same on the other side. All right, if we go down here, you can see we got a bit of a curve, curve. Next bit is on the left here. This is this is too low by 100 mil because of the thickness. So I want to move this up. 100, and we do the same on the other side. As you can see, because it's selected, I can go through the wall. It's not a problem at all. Just have to line it up there. 100. All right, this should be, yeah, perfect, that corner, that one too. All right, so we got our first piece and obviously we want to duplicate this now. But now I'm going back to my half divisions. I mirror a copy. All right, let's do it from here. Just to show where we go. So we got two pieces now, perfectly done. Next one is we take those two and we mirror them again as a copy. Or you can also drag them along, duplicate it. This In this case, I only need one more duplication to go all the way. There you go. Okay, let's see I got some cameras set up. Just look from inside. The other one. So that's what we got now. The next step is I like to cut some holes into this ceiling shape. And I want to make it as you saw before, it will end up to be like a grid. I'll use the grid, I've used it before. It's very handy. Um, you can choose if it's a horizontal or a vertical grid. I take a horizontal one. Um, frame thickness I'm 180, the edge frame 50, and for now I'll leave it 10 by 10. And the thickness I've got 200. And then we can give it here a material. Put it at frames and we put them on the cutting element layer. All right, if I click this in now, let's just see what it does. So we got this. Okay, so I like to spread this grid now over the whole office ceiling. So we take this and we move it. From here, we just move it that way. And 
All right, I have to go this way. It doesn't matter for now. Let me drag that over. Let's have a look what's happening here. Okay. Next bit is I need it thicker because I show you. Got it here. My section, which I have a quick look at. All right. As you can see, I want this obviously thicker and just going over the ceiling. So go back to 3D and we just give it a thickness which is much more than 200. Let's do it two meters. There you go. It just has to overlap. That's the main thing. And obviously the grid is way too big for now. So I like to change that. Let's put in 50 here, 30 here, see what happens. There you go. That looks much better now. Okay. I actually want to rotate this, make it, make it more interesting. Now I just got to make sure it overlaps everywhere. So there's a corner there. So we have to make sure yeah that's all overlapping perfect so the next bit is now you take this object select that and we select our shell select all shells going to 3d there we go it's a bit hard to see but there it is and we use the solid element operation tool Let's bring this up. All right, my target elements now are the roof. You select. Actually, it's much easier again. I'm on shelf, just select all the shelves. And we get target element. And as an operator element, I'll take my grid. And I use subtraction, execute. There we go, and we have a quick look what's happening at the moment. So there you go, so you got this ceiling grid now. All right, now you can play around with this. If I put my, um, if I put this one back on, I can obviously now, because it's all connected, I can select this and say, oh, well, okay, let's change this. Because I've got a frame thickness of 80 and the edge frame is 50, but the main thing is for me the 81. So let's just move, put this to 150. Let's see what happens. All right. As you can see, it's much thicker now. There you go. That looks pretty cool now. So if we go back down here and we go to export, let's see what's happening. If we show that in our cameras, there we go. The next camera. Now that's one option, but I like to do actually the other option. I like to do it the other way around. So what we do is we um, Take our shells. Oops, I closed that. There we go. Shells, and I like to also select my grid. And we get rid of clear all targets, clear all operators. There we go. Into 3D, and we do it a lot again. But this time, we do it the other way around. I like to select this time the target elements. As the roof first, so we take the shell, target, and the grid is our operator element, and we subtract. No, we sorry, we intersect, and we execute that one. And let's see what's happening here. All right, see that's what I was after. So let's have a look in 3D here. What we got now. Oops, do that again. Okay, see? 
that sort of after the it's just the other way around instead of you have a ceiling grate you got that sort of a, a beam beam grate all right i find them a bit thick at the moment so let's just change that around all right let's put the grip back on as you can see i've got the grate on this um on this cutting element layer which i obviously need to turn off when i want to see what's happening after okay so that's selected now and i will want to change this from 150 let's change it to 60. okay and we'll have another look camera there you go this is much thinner now okay so you can you can play around with this till you're happy with it as example, they're way too wide. I, I really think we should make that thinner. So let's take what we got here. Uh, we got only 50. It's, it's, that is 80 and 60. Draw and we go to our camera. You see, this is much nicer now. I really like that. Other camera view. All right, I think that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will be back soon. Bye for now.